Hi guys, just wanted to do a quick video on wiring uh, guide for Voron 2.4 R2. Uh, my last video a few months back was on the original 2.4 form bot kit. Uh, my latest one, the second one I ordered is actually a 2.4 R2 kit I got from Formbot. Um, I got everything wired up and I did minimal crimping because I used these uh, wiring covers uh, from Voron Mods. I put five of them. So these extra motor wires, I didn't want to crimp them uh, and then just hide them in there. Um, I didn't go super OCD status either. I'm just not too crazy on super OCD. It's not, this is on the bottom of your printer. You're never gonna look at it. Um, but I cleaned it as best as possible with these wiring covers, so it's nice. Uh, let's go ahead and first cover the power. So this is gonna be, all the green's gonna be uh, your ground, right? And 2.4 R2, the di biggest difference between 2.4, a regular 2.4, is addition of these uh, Wago holders that you mount. And also, my layout is completely different, so just ignore that. Um, it's because this form, the latest Formbot kit came with a Meanwell power supply that was different from my previous kit, so I had to mount this vertically. Uh, I didn't want to redesign, spend time designing my own uh, mount, which I could. So I used that, and once I got that vertical, I had to put everything elsewhere. So I ended up with sort of a custom DIY boron wiring. <laughs> Ignore that, but the important thing is um, you got the WACO connectors here, which is nice. You can connect all your uh, ground. Uh, the blue is going to be neutral. All your brown wires can be uh, live, right? Now, with this kit also different, you get a, just a three-prong um, uh, uh, power inlet, and you got the power switch here. Um, so the middle one is going to be ground, okay, middle, uh, the, the one in the middle. To the left of it is always going to be live, so brown, and then this is going to be neutral. You're going to connect each of these to either side, all right, because the switch will, when you turn the switch on, it will actually connect these wires from internally. So you can have this blue wire over here, but just make sure they're in the same row. They're all facing this way. And when you switch on your power, it's going to send uh, the live um, and the neutral to uh, power to here. And then it's going to send um, power to your 24 volt power supply. Also going to send power to your uh, 5 volt power supply if you're using one. And then from here, um, you're going to have the V plus and V minus, 24 volt plus and minus. These two wires going all the way here and connect it uh, here, plus and minus. So these these are the two main wires. And then for motor power, you, can, uh, you don't need a separate wire. You can just uh, wire from here to here, right? It's the same power. Um, that should be fine. That's how Voron does it. Rat Rig actually recommends you to do separate wires, uh, but we're only dealing with 24 voltage, um, so it should be fine. It's not a high amperage. Uh, the high amps is where the bed, he heater bed comes out. So there's two wires, the heater bed wires that comes out from here, and one of them is connected directly to neutral. Right? The other one is connected directly to uh, the AC part, one, one or two, I don't think it really matters, um, because when you turn the SSR, it, the SSR will connect these two wires, and the other wire is actually going to the live, all right? So one of the, one of the heat bed connection is always connected uh, to neutral, but until the SSR is activated, the heater doesn't turn on, and that's the whole purpose of the SSR. And the two wires, the 24 volt plus and minus, is connected to the HE1, the second one here. And these two are your extruders, right? Um, now you can also connect it to uh, bed out, right? Um, that's an option, that's how Ratwick does it. It doesn't matter if you put it here or there, here though. Um, they both work, they're both 24 volts. Um, they're just to activate the SSR so you can turn your uh, heat bed on and off. Uh, do we cover a lot of that stuff? Yeah, so we cover that. 
Uh, the frame is grounded because it came with a ground wire. You don't, I don't think you absolutely need to. The SSR is also grounded. Um, they're all connected to the ground here. These Wagyu's are freaking great, by the way. Uh, the five volts supplies power to the Raspberry Pi. It's going to be uh, plus on the right side. It's going to be plus plus minus. You can actually use the first two, any of the first two. Is it? Yeah, I think so. Pretty positive. Um, and the Raspberry Pi is connected to the um, Octopus. Uh, V1.1. Now the op, I already loaded clipper on there. So if you did not do that, you may want to unhook your heat bed and the extruder. Uh, unhook these wires for now. Because uh, if you did not install clipper firmware, it's the, the, the firmware that's on there, the default firmware on the Octopus uh, V1.1. It's going to default to turn on your heater and your extruder and that might cause a thermal runway if you don't have your the thermistor is connected correctly. These are this row is going to be your thermistors, all right? I got three of them because I got one for the enclosure. Um, I've got one connected back here. It's just hiding under this wire cover, uh, so I know what temperature of the enclosure is. In case I want to print ABS, I'll have it automatically heat up to 37 degrees Celsius before it does anything, like you know, it, before it does quad entry. I got six fans connected. It's because the first two are extruder heater, you know, um, ext extruder, and then the heat, a hot end, hot end, hot end, and print fan. Sorry. Um, plus, I got a lot of wires. Uh, plus, the other two are Nevermore filters. I got two Nevermore filters, and I got additional two fans, obviously for that. I I didn't print skirts yet, but I I wanted to run the. I definitely recommend. At least having these two fans to cool down the drivers, uh, which you'll want if you want to run at full. Um, I got. I love these wire covers. They really tidy things up, and it's it's easy to work with, and they really hold the cables together. I just um, taped them up with v, the 3M. What is that VHS? VH. You know the 3M tape. <laughs> um, so I think I covered most of the stuffs. Uh, oh yeah, as far as the connection for the motors, it's going to be your, I think, B or A. A, B, A, and the extruder, Z0, Z1, Z2, Z3. And looking at like this, your Z0 is going to be here, the front of the front printer, Z0, Z1, Z2, Z3. And this is the front, front of the printer. I've got the LCD connected. I did not use LCD on my other one. Um, LCD is not completely necessary, but... I added it anyway, but these wire covers are great. There's also um, zip ties that you can zip tie uh, the ends to, so they're really nice, and they just slide over real nice. You can zip tie all your wires so they become super tidy. Um, so I think I covered everything. No, no, maybe not everything. Um, so for this particular, I had to use a custom mean well mount, a custom. Uh, mean well mount they're both mean well so that's why I have to but but I like that horizontal when you put the power supply horizontal last time I put it sideways you get a ton more room to work with so I feel an advantage there now I should have put this on the right side of the power supply so that's the only thing I did so I had to crimp wires the only one uh, wires I crimped are the power wires and also wires to the SSR everything I use from the kit uh, Formbot has really improved their kit uh, with, with the wiring, with the numbering, because you know they got the extra stuff, the the ground wire, so really nice. So I just need a power cable. My kit, I think, did not come with a power cable, so I gotta wait till tomorrow until I can power things on. Uh, but double check your work. Make sure plus and minus are connected correctly. Uh, very important. Your neutral and lives are connected correctly, especially for this. And this guy, uh, and also your SSR, make sure it's connected correctly. Um, and uh, if you double check, triple check, and you should be ready to go. Uh, hopefully this wiring guide sort of helped. If you have any, oh, I forgot the um, also the probe. The previous kit, I could actually just put it into the probe port over here, but the new kit actually comes with a diode, just like um, I've had no trouble with the previous um, probe. 
but that's that's the biggest change there and i've got x y stop here i don't use a zn stop so i didn't even install it i don't recommend it i can you can just use a probe as virtual uh zn stop and you can go ahead and um, wrap your probe with some ceramic tape to to avoid it melting that's how ldo ki ldo kit does it so i might try that i don't have that connected but yeah everything's ready to go um i just took my time this time and printed some extra parts i really love these things and i've also got panel mounts that hold it uh in place a lot better the form bot kit this material does um it will what is it it will mm -mm. Um, you know, it, it will sort of uh, change its shape, but this, this will hold it together. So that's an extra boron mod. Um, I'm going to start printing tomorrow, and we'll get some software in there, get the clipper run, up and running. Uh, I'm going to also upgrade that eventually to Stealth Burner, but I'm just using this. I have just some extra <laughs> joint holders I just made. Um, yeah, so electric wiring guide. I'll have a great day. This is based on FormBot, um, but uh, everything, like I said, FormBot kit, the greatest thing is uh, minimal minimal uh, crimping. I just literally no crimping at all. Um, so really like that. Have a great day, sirs.